Honeypots can provide valuable cybersecurity information, but is it worth the risk? A honeypot is a network attached system set up as a decoy designed to appear as a high value asset, like a server. Its purpose is to detect, deflect, and study hacking attempts that might have otherwise led to unauthorized access to information systems. They're most often used by large enterprises and companies involved in cybersecurity research. Generally, a honeypot operation consists of a computer, applications, and data that simulate the behavior of a real system, like a financial system or IoT devices, for instance, but is completely isolated and closely monitored. Learn more about how honeypots can help understand network vulnerabilities by clicking the link above or in the description below. The exact placement of the honeypot varies depending on its sophistication, the traffic it aims to attract, and its proximity to sensitive resources inside the corporate network. It might be placed in the network's demilitarized zone, or DMZ, to still be part of the network, or outside the external firewall to detect attempts to enter the internal network but no matter the placement, it will always have some degree of isolation from the production environment. There are two main kinds of honeypots. Research honeypots, for close analysis of hacker activity and to learn how to protect systems against them. And production honeypots, for drawing intruders away from the real network, giving admins time to assess the threat level and address any system weaknesses. Honeypots can provide valuable benefits like real data collection, fewer false positive intruder alerts, cost effectiveness, and encryption circumvention. But a honeypot also poses significant risks. There's limited data for analysis if there are no attacks on the actual honeypot. It's distinguishable from legitimate systems, so experienced hackers can avoid them. It puts production systems at risk, given that honeypots eventually do connect back to the real system. And it requires specialized skills to implement and operate so it can be costly. What do you think? Is the risk worth the potential benefits? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.